Okay, so today we'll be having Bible study yeah. with the children and the teenagers, home Bible study. And this is how you can start getting your children into the Word of God. It all starts from the parents. If you don't know how to get your children out of the worldly music and out of the world, you can start by having Bible study and teaching your children about the Bible and the importance of not accepting the mark of the beast. We already know that the truth be told that many of our children will be left behind in the great tribulation because even the Bible states that many of our children are prideful, boastful, lovers of themselves. And we all know um, that passage on um, how our children are acting these days. But even though our prayers are going up to God for our children, the best thing that we can do is um, keep our children lifted up in prayer, um, keep hope alive, and try to teach our children as much of God's word as we can. So I'm going to have my 17-year-old son, Devonte, say hi, Devonte, to the camera, please. And my and my 14 year old son Deontay, say hi Deontay. Ah. Okay, so Devonte will be reading um, Revelation chapter 13 in today's Bible study. So Devonte, please read. Now. Yes. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up of the sea, having seven. Hold up. Having seven heads and ten horns, and okay. upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his head the name of the Baphomet. The name of blasphemy. Oh, blasphemy. And the beast with the the beast which I saw was like upon a leopard, and his feet was as the feet of a bear, and his mouth was the mouth of a lion. <clears throat> and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. And I saw one of his heads as it were. Wandered to wounded. wounded to death, and his deadly wounds was healed, and all of the world wandered after the beast. And they they uh, worshipped the dragon, which gave power upon the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, "Who is like unto, who is like unto the beast, who is able to make war with him?" Stop. Who do you guys think the beast is? Who is the beast? Lucifer. See? The Antichrist. Okay, Lucifer. keep going. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great thing and blasphemy, and power was given unto him to continue forth in two months. Forty, forty and two months. And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his. The tabernacle. Tabernacle and then the do that dwell. Dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And the and power was given him over all kindreds kindreds mm -hmm. and tongues. That was it. Mm -hmm. Tongues and nations. And all all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose name are not written in the book of the life. Whose name are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that least left led the leader. He that leadeth into captivity shall go unto captivity. He that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here to the patient. <laughs> And the faith, the faith of the saints, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he sp spake, spake as a dragon, and he exercised, exercised all the power of the first beast. I mean, the first beef, beast beast before, before him. him, and caught, causeth, causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the. First beast whose daily wound was healed, and he go he he doeth mm -hmm. doeth great wonders, so that he makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of the men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those 
miracles. miracles. Miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound of the wound by his sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that if many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Stop. So we see here that if the children and people that are left behind, if they do not worship the image of the beast, they shall be killed, right? So in this great tribulation, which um, is in the book of Revelation, chapter 13, if you don't worship the image of the beast, you shall be killed. So here we see that a false god is going to want you all to worship him. And if not, you will be slain. Okay? So what can we do to prevent this from happening to us? Get saved now. Get saved now. Deontes? Huh? What can we do to prevent this from happening to us? What? what? Being slain by the beast for not worshiping his image. We can um, repent and get saved now. And what does it take to um, get saved now? You got, you got, um, you got to be a follower, okay? And you got, um, you got, um, repent for all your sin. And you got to be holy and, and righteous in the name of God. Correct. The most important thing is that. All you have to do is just um, ask them to come into your heart and into your life and, and truly mean it. Because there's a big difference of just saying something than it is when you mean it. See, a lot of people, they say that prayer, but in the back of their minds, they say that they're not really to give it up. I'm too young or I have my whole life ahead of me. When you, when you have those feelings of doubt in the back of your mind, you're not really meaning it. It's that moment when you really mean it with your whole heart and those thoughts in the back of your mind become thoughts of I just give it all up I'm just going to trust the Lord and see what happened I'm going to give this a real shot is when the Holy Spirit is sent to dwell within you and then you become a new creature in Christ you are born again to be born again means to be made new your old self will be gone and you will be made a new creature in Christ Meaning that your old self will fall away. You will no longer do the things that you used to do. Okay, Devante. 16. Read. And he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, mm -hmm. to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that the mark. Of the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understand counting the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Stop. That's the end of Revelation 13. It says, Now here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred. Three score and six. What does that mean? Deontes. What is six hundred? Three score and six. Six, six, six. That's what that is. Now, let me ask you guys something. How often do we see the number six, six, six on our clothing, on television shows, and all over the world? Hmm? Every day. Not on clothes, but on TV and television shows every day. Yeah, I see it. It's everywhere, isn't it? Because Satan is the prince of this world. Okay? So the Lord says, be ye separate from this world. Okay? So do you understand what that means, Devontae? Yeah. Be ye separate from this world, meaning that we are not to do as the world does. We are not to go to clubs on Fridays and Saturdays because the club is jumping off on that day. We are not to wear the attire of the rappers and the singers, Beyonce and them. We are not to put your freakum dress on, girl, and go out to the club with your freakum boots on. We are not to have foul language coming out our mouths and talking about how women are hoes and, and people carrying on like heathens and, and hoodlums. 
We are not to follow behind the world with the hand gestures and hand signs that you see people doing in pictures. I understand that a lot of teens does this hand style. Look at this. What is this? A bathroom. It's the, um, that you see in rock and roll when... when it's, it's a double hand sign. This is a, this is a, a this is a demonic hand, Ooh. this is a demonic hand sign, but all over the world you see teens more and more to this day. I only see white teens do that. I only, I only see white teens More and more you see teens to this day doing this hand sign. Um, guys on YouTube, I want to show you a piece of clothing article. This says obey, and here you have the satanic star with the baphomet in the middle. Here you have a radio tower or some type of cell phone tower with the rays coming out of it. And then you have offshore descent. This is the most demonic, subliminal message on a piece of article clothing that I ever saw in my life. This is what our children is wearing. So this is advertising a subliminal message for our children to obey the Baphomet, which is a demonic god of the music of the music industry. So when our children hear this music, they are to obey the lyrics of the music, which is sex, drugs, profanity, and so many other things that will lead our children to hell. This is why it is important for us to monitor our children's clothes, for us to go on our children's Instagram, for us to for us to hack into that Facebook account, for us to check out what they tweeting on Twitter, for us to see what they sending on Kick, for us to see what they posting on Vine. I can go down the list. I be all up in their social accounts, don't I, y'all? Yeah. And if I catch something that's on there that it shouldn't be, they gonna get embarrassed because I post the pictures I want on there. And I go in there and say what I want to say for all of their 5,000 followers to see and they get embarrassed. And I'll have them shut it down. They'll just open it back up and create another one, but I don't stop. My children are included in my prayers, I'll say almost every day because sometimes, almost every day because sometimes I'll pray for others and I'll pray for Israel. Go sit down, boy. Yeah, a polo horse. And I'll pray for others. And, and I might not pray for my children that day, but for the most part, maybe five or six times out the week, I'm praying for my children's soul to be saved. This is what we can do to prepare our children to get our children's hearts ready for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if our children don't make it, we can always say a prayer going up that our children don't die. That they can make it through the great tribulation. And that they'll come out with their, right, their white robes on holding a palm in their hand. The main goal is we don't want our children to die and go straight to hell. We want them to make it into the kingdom of heaven. I don't care how they get there as long as they get there. This Revelation 13 should be read to every teenager. The book of Revelation, period. Because these teenagers are easily hooked by Satan. You ever heard that there's a hook on a song? The hook, the beat in the hook is what capture the souls and the mind of men. If we can, have, if we can hold a Bible study at least two times a week if we busy, once if you can. Every day will be great. Preaching the word of God and teaching them the, the holy word of God and showing them what is going on in this satanic world. We can open up our children's eyes. I always know that not everybody do what you say do at the time you say do it. But see, we're not here to force people to do anything because when you force people, that's, that's, that's witchcraft. You cannot force somebody against their free will to do anything. But what we can do is we can plant seeds of faith. And we can step back and let the, the Lord water those seeds and let him grow those seeds. They say that the devil come immediately after the word is sown into the hearts of men to steal, to steal that seed, to steal that word from their heart. If we will pray strategically against this, we can ask God for that seed to not be removed. If we would just learn how to pray, if we, if we knew what to pray for, 